Now that your initial setup is done, it's time to learn how to insert a new sensor. After completing this step, you will have chosen a placement site for your sensor, inserted your sensor, attached your transmitter. Before starting this process, you should have a sensor applicator, your transmitter, and alcohol wipes ready to go. Your first sensor insertion may not feel natural, but once you have done it once or twice, it should become more familiar. The process of inserting the sensor is as follows. On the applicator barrel, the white plunger inserts the introducer needle and sensor under your skin. When the collar is pulled back completely, the introducer needle is removed and the tiny, flexible sensor remains under your skin. First, wash your hands with soap and water before opening the sensor package. After opening the package, avoid touching the adhesive area. Next, choose a site on your belly to place your sensor. When you choose the site on your belly to place your sensor, here are a few things to keep in mind. The best areas to insert your sensor are usually flat and pinchable. The placement site should be out of the way of your waistband. Avoid areas that are likely to be bumped, pushed, or pressed against, or areas of your skin with scarring, tattoos, or irritation. Place the sensor at least three inches away from your insulin pump infusion set or injection site. Make sure there are no traces of lotions, perfumes, or medications on the skin where you place the sensor. Change the site where you place your sensor with each new sensor. The ideal sensor insertion site for you may be based on your body type, activity, sensitivities, and other personal traits. For more help on choosing the ideal sensor insertion sites for you, contact your healthcare provider. Once you have chosen your site to place your sensor, You'll then clean the placement site on your body with alcohol and let it dry. In real time, the sensor insertion happens very quickly. Let's see how quick an actual Dexcom G4 Platinum sensor insertion can be. Once the placement site is clean, remove the adhesive tabs from the bottom of the sensor pod. Place the sensor horizontally on the placement site on your body, not vertically. Rotate your fingers around the adhesive to secure the adhesive tape to the body. Remove the safety lock by pulling straight out. Save the safety lock as you'll be using it to remove your transmitter from your sensor after your sensor session is done. Using the thumb and forefinger on your non-dominant hand, you may want to pinch up on the tips of the white adhesive on your skin at the base of the sensor pod. With your dominant hand, place two fingers above the sensor applicator collar. Put your thumb on the plunger and push down completely. You should hear two clicks. Using your thumb as a base, move your fingers from above the collar to below the collar and pull the collar up completely towards your thumb until you hear two clicks or cannot pull back anymore. You might feel pressure as you pull back the collar, but continue to pull it back completely as shown. Make sure the transmitter latch is flush against the skin. While still holding the sensor applicator, use your other hand to squeeze the ribbed tabs on the sides of the sensor pod. Rock the sensor applicator forward and out, away from your body. Once your sensor has been inserted, it's time to attach the transmitter. First, if you haven't already done so, clean your transmitter with an alcohol wipe and let it dry. Once it's dry, place your transmitter into the sensor pod, flat side down, thinner side away from the transmitter latch. With one hand, you may want to pinch up on your skin at the front tips of the white adhesive. Use a finger to hold the transmitter in place. With your other hand, move the transmitter latch forward until you hear two clicks. This may take some force. To remove the transmitter latch, hold the sides of the sensor pod with one hand and the transmitter latch with the other. Twist off the latch. Your sensor insertion is now complete. You are now ready to go on to the next step.